Thank you for joining us today for Cup of Faith. And our heart, our goal in these is these weekly uh, five-minute devotionals is just to give you a small dose of, of hope, of, of God's truth, uh, so that you can live your day and your week with confidence. We have a lot of distractions going on in our world right now, but really, as believers, we need to keep our eyes on God. When we look to God, we can find uh, hope and, and meaning and, and truth in the midst of all this chaos and confusion. So today's attribute of God that I want to talk to you about is the Son of God. Son of God. Very familiar to us. Uh, we all know John 3.16, For God so loved the world, he was so motivated uh, with love and passion for the world that he sent his only Son. I love the fact that God reveals himself in familial terms. So God uses family language to describe who he is. And all of us can understand that because every one of us comes from a family. And that might be a, uh, that can be a difficult subject to think about. Uh, many people don't have good relationships with their father. Uh, but some do. Uh, when I think of myself, I, I'm, I'm grateful that I grew up with not a perfect dad, but a dad who, who loved me and uh, is now one of my best friends. Um, I love my relationship with my dad. And, and even now as a father, I love being a dad. Uh, and so there's this unique relationship that a son has with a father. There's this closeness. There's this uh, learning from and, and modeling after a good father. And uh, as you see Jesus throughout his ministry, he often, when he spoke about God, he used the term father. He, he often uh, cried out to God and, and called him Father. Um, this was the, the God that we know and love and serve, who created everything, is a Father. And we, through Jesus Christ, have become sons and daughters of our Father. How amazing is that? I, I think of John, um, in the book of 1 John, uh, he kind of goes off on this, uh, this tangent of praise, and I just want to read it to you. First uh, John 3, verses 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. He's saying, just, just meditate on that today. Meditate on the fact that God has made us his children once we were far from him, once we were orphans, once we were, we were distant from him. Uh, but Augustine said, the incarnate son of God makes sons of men, sons of God. Uh, because of Jesus, uh, God has brought us back into the family. We have an inheritance now. Uh, we have relationship, we have closeness, we have intimacy with the Father because the Son of God has made a way for us to become sons and daughters of God. So it's amazing to me when you look through Jesus' Gospels, uh, even the demons understood that Jesus was the Son of God. And if the demons acknowledged him as the Son of God, how much more should the world and and especially us as believers acknowledge Jesus to not just be a good teacher a good prophet not a not just a good an idea and a concept to adhere to but a person that we will follow that we declare as Lord and leader of our life uh, Jesus uh, the Son of God walked this earth and showed us how to live uh, and he taught us how to, to, to trust in the Father. And he, he died for us uh, so that we could become sons and daughters of God. And uh, so I want to encourage you today, all of us, we have an inheritance that is in God. And we can live into that inheritance right now. We can live into our inheritance as sons and daughters right now. It's not just waiting for us in heaven. It's here for us now. And uh, sometimes people, when they are, when someone dies, a father or mother, there's uh, the family argues about the inheritance because they're worried that they're not going to get enough of the money, which is a bit ironic because they never earned it, earned it themselves. But I want to just encourage you that 
The inheritance that God gives all of us is so vast. He has enough blessing for every single one of his sons and daughters. He wants to lavish blessing and goodness in your life. Uh, so today, I want you to meditate and just think deeply about the beautiful truth that you have been made son and a daughter of God. God bless you.